this is a 2007 RAV4. I have a check engine light with two codes. Um, P0138 and P0606. Um, that code is saying that there's a um, electrical short high circuit for the um, O2 sensor bank one. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it is, so I'm gonna have to check the O2 sensor to see if that's where the problem is, if the circuit is bad or the OC2 sensor is bad. Uh, most likely I'm just gonna change the O2 sensor, so I'm gonna try to figure out where the O2 sensor is on the 2007. I realized that on the 2008 up, the O2 sensor is at a different location, and um, on the 07, 06, 07, the O2 sensor is at a um, separate location up. This is where the, the oxygen sensor is. So you have one right here, which is the downstream oxygen sensor. So this is the one that is behind the catalyst converter. The catalyst converter is up here on the manifold. And then it's up here on the manifold. This is where the catalyst converter is up there and the oxygen sensor is right here so this is the oxygen sensor i'm gonna get yeah you can see that's the connector right there for the oxygen sensor yes yeah, so i'm gonna get that from up top so this is a this is a 22 spanner Okay, um, I'm gonna use a 22 wrench. Um, I won't be able to use a socket. They have a special tool for this, but I can just use a 22 socket and get it from here because it's not that hard. So um so this is the connector that goes to the um this is one end that goes to the oxygen sensor and this is another one that goes to the um the, the computer. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check this side to make sure I'm getting signal from this side. Um I'm not gonna worry too much about this guy if this is not if this is not good. If I'm getting signal here then I'm just gonna change the oxygen sensor. So um, let me get my tester and make sure that I'm getting signal from this thing. Yeah, so um, now that I check and I make sure that I'm getting signal from all four ports, four wires, four connectors, you have a heater, you have the sensor wire and all of that. Now that I see that I'm getting signal from all, then now I know that um, the connection, the, um, the circuit is not is, is okay so now I just have to, I'm just gonna go ahead and just change the oxygen sensor and hopefully that will um, solve the problem so now this is the old one that I get out and here I have a new one right here as you can see the, um, the connectors are the same that thing. Um, the old one, you can see, was broken. Yeah, it's all ripped off and all of that. So, yeah, and this this one probably has done it time. So, I'm gonna put the new one in there now and see um, what happened. Yeah, so now as I can see, um, the new one is us. Now I'm tightening in there, and uh, the wire is connected back right here. Yep, it's all plugged in. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go 
back and start the car, clear the code, and see what if I get back. Um, if we, if I get back, I'm um, checking the light or it goes away. Yeah, so so as I can, I just use my scan tool and clear the code. Um, I erase the code. I haven't seen it back, so I'm gonna shut the car off. Start it again. Um, that code would have come on immediately because it was an electronic problem with this with the, with the um, oxygen sensor. So that code is not the code that would you would have to drive the car for it to become ready for that code to come on. So when I when I tried to clear the code at first, it came off, and then once I saw the car, it came back on immediately. So. Basically, that code I think is being um, it's been cleared, and um, I think the problem has been fixed. I'm still gonna drive and see what happened, but um, um, most likely I think that problem has been fixed.